Mm -hmm. And um, what was your process for applying to PA school? Like, which schools did you apply to and why? So I applied to all of the Canadian programs, and I was prepared to apply to the American programs if I were if I didn't get in. Um, the the Manitoba program, uh, I don't know if they accept too many out of province uh, applicants. Um, and then the UFT program to me stood out first off because I'm from Toronto, and um, I, but I really liked uh, how they delivered their uh, their curriculum. So they they have the the. I guess distance studies approach where you do a portion of your, your experience uh, through online lectures, and then the, a lot of your clinical experience uh, you just do in the community. Uh, so I, I really enjoyed that part, and Toronto be, University of Toronto being one of the, the top universities in the world, uh, it seemed like a no-brainer. And what were some of your favorite rotations in second year? In second year, um, so I really, really enjoyed pediatrics. I had a phenomenal preceptor. Um, and I think that really uh, made me uh, develop confidence as, as a clinician. Um, working in internal medicine, doing the, the ward medicine, I think uh, helps me establish an approach towards these complex patients. Uh, but I'd probably have to say my favorite uh, rotation would be uh, up into Thunder Bay. Uh, I, did, I did a placement in the intensive care unit there, and that was um, pretty... Uh, it was a pretty phenomenal experience. They have a world-class ICU up there, and uh, it actually uh, helped me prepare for my position uh, with uh, the multi-organ transplant program because a lot of the work I do is actually in the ICU. And in Thunder Bay, there was, uh, I de dealt with a lot of fulminant uh, liver failures, which helped me out with uh, working in liver transplantation and working with pre-liver transplant patients. So. Um, I, I owe a lot to the Thunder Bay ICU and, and that rotation. And um, how did you keep on top of um, your studies, I suppose, during that rotation? Like, how did you make sure you got the most out of that experience? I found, um, I think, one of the things that you, you do in, in these kind of clinical rotations is you try to read around everything. And uh, so when you're actually working, um, you're... Uh, everything you encounter you want to kind of read up read up on so it, you can kind of have something to refer to if, if you have a patient with an interesting uh, presentation you read around that and it's something that you can refer to um, I guess uh, in the future and then uh, after after the rotations when you go home I think it's great to also kind of have a balance I think uh, for instance when I was in Thunder Bay I'd, uh, just try to explore the, the nature around there, um, but also set, up, set aside some time to uh, prepare for the rotation so um, you know what to encounter and you know um, how to be ready for certain procedures and uh, what you need to do. So you're originally from Toronto, living in the city, etc. And I think for some students it's a little bit intimidating to think about this idea of work, um, doing the north-south swap for um, for PA Consortium. So what was that like, uh, having to move every few weeks or even just preparing yourself to go to somewhere remote? I think that was, to, for me, that was actually one of the biggest draws to the program. So I found that uh, the North Swap positions or the North Swap rotations gave me the most clinical experience. Uh, for instance, in the ICU, um, I, it was me, the resident, uh, at nights we would essentially uh, run the, the ICU, um, and, uh, but then like if we, were for, uh, we would uh, be first assist in the OR when I was working in Sudbury, I was doing psychiatry up at Thunder Bay. Uh, so you, to, to be in these different environments where they first off don't have a lot of healthcare providers, um, it provides a lot of opportunity for students. Whereas somewhere, um, I guess in southern Ontario, like Toronto, um, it's hard to get those opportunities because there's just so many, many students and so many learners around. Uh, so I found the northern rotations would be nice.